is enough and it's time for a change Hey, what's up everybody? Gilbert Blaze here. It's Thursday. I'm off today, which I'm very thankful because I can relax. But uh, I want to talk about some wrestling. So, uh, Caitlyn wins Season 3 of NXT. Now, for those of you who remembered, I was talking about NXT the first couple of episodes. You know, I was really high on it. I was telling people to watch. And I stopped talking about it a long time ago because, honestly, I stopped watching. It wasn't that bad. And, you know, I will admit when I'm wrong, you know, I tried to get people to watch the show because it's women's wrestling, we should support women's wrestling, but the show was absolutely atrocious, it was just bad in every sense of the word, horrible matches, horrible segments, I mean, I'm just, I mean, and I'm not, I'm not shocked because this is what WWE does, I mean, they hate women's wrestling, so why put any effort into having a good women's division, so I try to give them the benefit of the doubt, but I was wrong, and once it went on to WWE.com, I just stopped watching. As I started, well, I guess I was like watching little clips here and there, but I wasn't like fully into it. So Caitlyn wins season three, and I'm not shocked because after all, that whole storyline with Vicky Guerrero really got her over. But it's just sad that real like you know, athletes like AJ Lee and Naomi Knight didn't win. Now, um, I will say this: I did watch the match between Naomi and AJ. That was the best match of season three of NXT. It was long awaited. People was wanting to watch this match, and they delivered. And that's the kind of match. If anyone saw that match, I would encourage you to watch that match on YouTube. That match was a great woman's match. I think that was the best match of the whole Divas division within the whole year. And that's saying something right there. That match was great, and so. I'm not worried about AJ and Naomi. I think they definitely will get contracts. They're definitely going to get signed to the WWE. Now, Caitlyn, on the other hand, I do like her. You know, she has a great look and she has a big personality. She's very goofy, and that's cool. That's a really good character trait to have a female with a great personality like that. But in terms of wrestling, she is so bad. I mean, atrocious bad. It's for herself. She ain't even admitted it by the way, that her first wrestling match ever was on NXT. I mean, I mean, they had, like, signed into a developmental contract, and then I guess when Aloisa, um, they, had, they got rid of her, they needed to replace her really fast, and they picked Caitlyn, and she just came out of nowhere. So, I mean, it has to be a whirlwind for her. I mean, to get signed, to get called up on television, and now to win the whole competition. But um, I'm hoping that she gets more training. I know she will, but I'm hoping to train seriously because she does have potential but just watching her matches were very, it was just, she doesn't have no ring presence. She doesn't have that, that, that factor of where she could actually hold her own in the ring unless there's something, you know, someone in the ring with her that's good. But it's hard to have someone in the ring that's good when she's not wrestling anyone so far but the Bella Twins and, you know, other horrible people. So if she gets in the ring with Gail Kim or Beth Phoenix, who knows? They might be able to, to carry her really well. But, It'll be, I guess, I mean, they'll probably have her as a face for now, but uh, it'll be interesting to see what, what they go with this. And they might pursue, uh, pursue the whole story around Vicky Guerrero still. But yeah, congratulations to her. Disappointed with Naomi and AJ not winning, but like I said, they're going to get contracts regardless. So now NXT Season 4 is debuting, and I'm shocked by this. I'm like, I thought NXT was done. Yet, they're going to be doing it again, and this time it's back to being with men. And I got to say, like, the, the pros cast I, I'm not disappointed with. I think there is pretty good selection but I am disappointed that there's no Tyler Black, no Steph Rollins. You would have thought that they would have gave him the call up but I'm shocked maybe they're just, I guess they're going to save him for something else but it would have been nice to have seen him in NXT even though it wasn't going to be on television but uh, yeah it would be interesting to see what happens with him. You know I saw his first um, FCW match with Vance Archer and he looked pretty good so uh I hope um, he gets the call up soon. We'll see what happens with that. But yeah, NXT Season 4 is debuting next week. So uh, who knows if I'm going to watch that. But I will say this, in about, I think, 17 days or so, it's going to be Final Battle ROH December 18th, I believe. So I can't wait. I'm looking forward to that. Thankfully, I get out of work early enough so I can go down to the Manhattan uh, Center 
and then I hang out with all my buddies again and watch some good pro wrestling. I'm looking forward to this so much. I need to see some good pro wrestling. Haven't seen anything live in a long time. I guess the last ROA show. So um, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, December, I can't believe it's already December already, but you know, Royal Rumble is going to be right around the corner. And it remains to be seen if the one and only Triple H will make his long way to return at the Royal Rumble. If he does, will he win it? I will not be surprised. This is WWE, by the way. So, I'm looking forward to the Royal Rumble, but I'm just looking forward also, you know, there's a lot of fallout to what happened on Monday night with The Miz and Cena Angle and all that. But you know what? I said all I had to say about that. I will be watching to see what they're going to do with The Miz. I'm going to still try to keep my fingers crossed that they actually are going to let him be a good champion. But... That remains to be seen, folks. So, yeah, that's all I want to say for now with the wrestling news. Congratulations, Caitlin. We'll see what happens with Season 4. We'll see what happens with The Miz. We'll see what happens with John Cena. No TNA. I didn't even talk about TNA because, guess what? I haven't been watching TNA. But I will watch tonight to see what goes on. And um, I'm looking forward to Final Battle ROH, baby. So that's all I got to say for now. Talk to y'all later. Peace.